The yeah. Game 3 hero is downstairs. Travis, congratulations. The three of us are up here. Just tell me the feeling and talk about your focus on a second rebound try. You were able to roof that baby. Yeah, you know, just uh, we talked about getting pucks in the net to over in overtime and just going to the net. And there's going to re be rebounds, and I think uh, we did a good job uh, doing that and, and staying on our toes and, and, and uh, just fighting for it. You know, Trav, uh, end of the regulation, you guys were okay, but it seemed like you weren't aggressive. And Kenny and I were talking about how they're going to come out in in this overtime, and excuse me, in the third, at the end of the third. But you guys looked much more assured. You guys wanted the puck. You're handling it like Zach going down the line. Anything talked about? Or were, had you just had enough of the losing in overtime against this team and everybody just felt good about what was going to take place? No, I, I heard Dano talking before. We, we wanted to play on our toes, and uh, like I said, and... and you know, create some pressure. I think uh, like the last seven minutes of, in the third period, we uh, we sat back and they uh, took it to us a little. We can't give those uh, you know stall and call them that much time. And I think uh, in overtime we, we learned from uh, uh, I think game two and, and we just came out with uh, you know an attitude that uh, we were going to create uh, create our chances. Travis, what does this do for the team's confidence right now? Because yes, we look back and they were all in five. And I know players will say and in the locker room that's past history. Uh, this is a different overtime, different game, but. It really had to be a little bit of a sense of relief to you guys that we finally beat this team, but we made our breaks and we worked hard in overtime. And I really did, like Chico said, you guys were on your toes. You looked like you were going for it tonight instead of just sitting back and kind of waiting it for it to happen in overtime. Yeah, exactly. You know, like uh, there's a big sigh of relief in, in the dress room. Uh, yeah, a bounce, bounce went our way, which is which is great. And but like you said, we created our, our chances, our bounces, and we got to keep doing that. We have to. Uh, we have to uh, be the team that, that strikes first, and, and uh, you know, on the four check, we have to finish checks. We, we can't let them, uh, you know, play, play a soft game. Uh, Zach, you got to be feeling good. Kenny said, you know, you can think you can do things like beat Carolina in an in a overtime game, but until you do it, you're not sure. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you, you heard a lot about uh, our overtime record in the playoff against this team, so um, it, was, it was great for us to finally get that. You know, I think it was the first overtime win against them. Zach, I'm going to throw kind of the same I throw it through at Travis Sajak. It just seemed from watching uh, up above here, you guys really wanted to press the issue this time in overtime. You didn't look as tentative as you maybe did the last game in game two. It was one of those things that it looked like, uh, guys, we're going to break this by going for it. Even when we make mistakes, let's push the play to Carolina. Well, I think that was, uh, I mean, everybody said that in the dressing room. Coach said it. I mean, all the all the older guys in the room said that, that we have to go after him and not be afraid to turn the puck over because I think in that second game it was almost as if we were, if it makes sense, we were playing not to lose the game rather than mm -hmm. go after him and try to win. And, uh, and tonight uh, we went after him in that overtime.